Seismic data is the cornerstone of exploration and is used to map the subsurface layers and structures. Here, two potential hydrocarbon reservoirs have been identified from seismic interpretation. The question now is, do the reservoirs contain water or hydrocarbons? And which one should the oil company drill? To help answer this question and reduce exploration risk, more and more customers are turning to 3D EM data. Controlled Source Electromagnetics CSEM, relies on the difference in the electrical resistivity between oil and water-bearing sediments. Well log resistivity has been a key hydrocarbon indicator since the 1920s, as sediments saturated by oil and gas display higher resistivity than water-filled sediments. What EMGS has achieved is to apply this principle to the remote indication of hydrocarbons, that is, to measure subsurface resistivity from the seabed. A high power source of EM energy is towed over a grid of receivers, placed one to three kilometers apart, at known locations on the seabed. By measuring the refracted energy from subsurface layers, we are able to identify areas of high electrical resistivity, an indicator of hydrocarbons. From one line of receivers, we can image a vertical section with however limited resolution and depth positioning. In a 3D survey, a grid of active receivers record both inline and azimuth data. This allows us to map resistivity variations in all three dimensions, providing increased coverage and resolution. Integrating seismic and 3D EM provides an improved understanding of the subsurface geology. In this case, the updated geological model has resulted in a new lead, which was not discovered in the first round of seismic interpretation. CSEM results can be calibrated when well log resistivity measurements are available. This, in turn, provides improved confidence in the interpretation. In mature areas, where the reservoir saturation and porosity is known from well logs, the CSEM data can also be used to estimate hydrocarbon distribution and total volumes. EMGS has performed over 500 surveys since 2002 to reduce exploration risk and improve drilling success rates across the world's mature and frontier basins, in water depths ranging from about 30 to 3,500 metres, for a range of exploration and production companies.